joining us now is U.S. Senator Bob Menendez. Senator, uh, you've been quoted as saying that what the House leadership effectively has said to New Jersey is drop dead. Do you think that message was intended to be received that way? Well, I don't know how it was intended to be received, but that's the way I receive it. Uh, never before has this country walked away from its obligation to help Americans in the wake of a natural disaster. But that's exactly what the House Republican leadership told New Jersey uh, and New York. What happened? I mean, we're hearing from the governor that essentially the House Speaker decided enough's enough. Business concluded. I'm leaving. What happened as far as you can tell? Well, I don't, you know, I can't speak for the House because uh, obviously uh, having helped pass it in the Senate with a strong bipartisan vote after 25 amendments, uh, it was fully vetted. Uh, but I cannot recall a congressional act to be so inconsistent with our core principles that we are the United States of America. And the House's Republican leadership to kill the bill uh, and not even give us a vote, I believe that if we had had a vote, that we would have had enough Democrats, certainly almost an major, overwhelming majority of Democrats, and enough Republicans to pass it and send it to the president and get relief to people who already are feeling the biting pain of winter. Now, we saw you defend uh, in the Senate this bill against some Republican efforts to water it down considerably. Uh, was there a, a, some sort of sense within the Republican Party overall that these numbers were being inflated, that the books were cooked? Well, of course, they take the position, you know, people who now don't want to uh, believe in the proposition that a natural disaster is a natural disaster and emergency relief is emergency relief, that now there's a new standard. I don't know whether that's a bias against the Northeast or whether that's their new standard nationwide, which is a standard that I'm going to remember if, in fact, we don't get this type of relief in a timely fashion. But the reality is, is that this has been scrubbed between the two governors, Governor Christie and Governor Cuomo. It was scrubbed by the Obama administration in the Office of Management and Budget. It then was scrubbed by a bipartisan appropriations committee, and then it went through the full vetting of nearly two weeks of work on the Senate floor, over 25 amendments, and ended up in a strong bipartisan vote. You can't get a more honest, transparent process than that. Uh, Senator, let, let me see if I read you correctly, though. What, you're, what I'm getting from you is that you're saying if this doesn't go through, if this isn't remedied soon and to our satisfaction in this state, that you are threatening to hold up things that might matter to your, your uh, uh, fellow legislators on the Republican side. Is that correct? I, I'm going to do everything I have to do to defend the people of New Jersey and to get them what they deserve as Americans and what we have voted for in any other part of the country, from Hurricane Katrina to the Gulf region to flooding along the Mississippi through crop disasters in the Midwest, through uh, tornadoes in the Midwest. I've always been there. I expect our colleagues to do the same. Now, I appreciate that in the Senate that did happen, but in the House of Representatives, if it's not going to happen when they send stuff over to the Senate, uh, it's not going to see the light of day unless they change their attitude. Senator, one more question. Today the governor was effusive in his praise of you for your efforts to try to deliver this package to this state. He was highly critical, as you've probably heard by now, of his fellow Republicans who lead the House of Representatives. What does that tell you about this governor? I think the governor calls it as he sees it. And I appreciate his compliments. We work together hand in hand throughout the whole process to make sure when there were questions, we got it answered. We were very transparent. We worked uh, hand in glove uh, on behalf of the people of New Jersey. I appreciate him calling the way uh, he sees it. Senator, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Mike. Take care.